In this demo, we will show how to download new firmware to anybuscompact.com using HMS's own firmware manager. The scenario we're using is an anybuscompact.com M40 module for Ethernet IP, which needs new firmware. There are two ways to update the Compact.com, either via the Ethernet network or by connecting it to a development board. First, let's have a look at updating the Compact.com via the network ports. I start the firmware manager, which I've downloaded from anyboss.com. The first thing I need to do is to choose which network to scan for anybus products. I choose Tools, Options and select this A6 network card since I've connected my anybus modules to this network. I can now see the available anybus modules. They are all currently using version 1.05 and no firmware upgrades are available. To add firmware, I open up the firmware repository. This is still empty, but I have received updated files from HMS support and placed them on my computer. I drag these into the repository and close it. I can see that there is now a firmware version called 1.07 that I can update to. Since I want to update all modules, I check all boxes and click Update Modules. The firmware is now downloaded to all modules. When this is done, I select all modules again and restart them for the firmware to go into effect. When the modules have restarted, I close the firmware download window and I can see that the firmware has now been upgraded to version 1.07. The second way to update the Compact.com is to remove it from the host device and connect it to a development board, such as for example the one included in the Compact.com starter kit. I can then connect my computer to the adapter board using a USB cable and thereby access the module. To update the firmware this way, I open the firmware manager and run the manual update wizard. I select that I'm using an Anybus Compact.com 40 series product. I can now add the firmware that I want to use. I open the firmware repository and drag in the new firmware which I have received from HMS. I close the repository and click Next. In this case, I want to use the transport provider since I'm connected via the USB cable. So I click Next and can now choose which transport provider to use. I click Create and select HMS Development Board 2 which is the transport provider I'm using in this case. I call my path DevBoard2 and click OK. I can now see that I can upgrade to version 1.07 or downgrade to 1.05. I choose Update and the firmware is downloaded to the module. Since I access the module via the USB, the module is restarted automatically. If I go back to my firmware selection view, I can see that I now have version 1.07 installed. 